Oakland, California Mayor Libby Schaaf saying she has no regrets about warning illegal immigrants about an ICE raid in February. In an interview with BuzzFeed this week, Schaaf claims she did the right thing by telling Oakland residents about an upcoming immigration crackdown. Now, ICE arrested over 200 illegal immigrants in the raid, but ICE claimed 800 got away. Joining me now is Niger Innes, national spokesperson for the Congress on Racial Equality and Fox Business contributor Rachel Campos Duffy. Great to see you both. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, although it Happy is anything Year. but for that, the poor family of that uh, police officer gunned down, by the way, who was also an immigrant, but he was a legal immigrant. Uh, there was there was a certain irony in all this. Some people say that uh, the people who are against illegal immigration are against all immigration. In fact, that's not at all true. This guy really worked hard to be as decent an officer and an, and, an, and an American as he could possibly be. But Rachel, this Oakland mayor, I mean, she could have been warning the, the perpetrator, the, the murderer of this, this officer. I mean, it is conceivable. They're both in the same general area of California that one of the people she could have been warning about an ICE raid was the, was the guy who killed this cop in, in Northern California. Absolutely, and in the press conference that we saw today, it was absolutely gut-wrenching, but the sheriff from Newman um, said that, in fact, that is true, that they are prohibited from, uh, uh, from interfacing with the federal ICE agents, and that, indeed, this was a preventable crime. And I have to wonder, you know, the, the, the politicians can, you know, do all these things, but the regular, everyday Californian who is sitting and watching that press conference and seeing those heart-wrenching photos of him just hours before this happened or some say minutes before it happened with his wife and his baby by a Christmas tree. I mean, these are real lives. Um, you have to wonder if this law seems so silly um, that if maybe a lot of Californians are going to change their mind. I well, think I actually so. nationally people are changing their mind. I hope so. But, but the commitment, Niger, on the part of these politicians in California is so strong and their fingerprints by over, uh, are all over this crime. I mean, we saw the sheriff of the county in, in, in which the crime took place really finger pointing to the, the, the proponents of sanctuary cities and particularly to folks who, who tell criminals that an ICE raid is coming. I mean, it's going to be hard for them to avoid this. That, that's absolutely right. Until the federal government and until the president of the United States uses his executive authority and instructs the Justice Department to start arresting some of these politicians, these sanctuary mayors, like the one in Oakland, who is a disgrace, these sanctuary governors that allow uh, this, th these types of criminals to just con continue to recklessly commit these violent types of crimes against their own citizens, against their own population. They should arrest these folk and throw them in jail for obstructing the uh, uh, actions of a federal officer that is trying to execute the law. Mm -hmm. And they, they should do so, that even if they take the risk of uh, some crazy Ninth Circuit judge uh, overturning it or, or, or obstructing it or stopping it or reversing it, they should go through the motion to send a powerful signal. Because until they do, the sanctuary mayors and sanctuary governors are going to continue to pander to the worst elements of the far left extremists. Rachel, there, there's another side to this whole thing that's, that's, that's taking place. You, you look at all of the policies of Democrats, and they do have uh, immigration policies, but they're all for catch and release, or they, that is the ultimate result of their policies. I mean, you have catch and release itself. You have amnesty programs, the sanctuary city programs, allowing illegals to vote. Right. Uh, some people suspect there is a, a broader plan or a deeper plan, if you will, from the Democrats, and that is to bring all these people in who will be the new wave of supporters for the Democratic Party, a new base for the Democrat right. Party. What do you think? It, it could very well be. It could very well be. It certainly looks like that. There's also a lot of economic incentives. Um, people like to have cheap labor in their homes. People like to have cheap labor um, uh, you know, uh, in, in their businesses. So there's but also Democrat a business But Democrat politicians lobby. But Democrat, like nothing more than getting reelected. It, Any politician. It, but but this may be true. a plan to, to allow that to And when the Democrats say, look, we're for border security, I look and I go, 
how, where, what is your plan? Um, to me, it looks like uh, the only people who are trying to do something about securing the border are Republicans, and they have a great leader in Donald Trump who has been really relentless in bringing attention to this and so sad that this crime that happened, um, this murder, this senseless murder, is bringing um, the kind of attention. And by the way, great point that Mick Mulvaney brought that you brought up. This is a very stark contrast. This is not an anti-immigrant um, argument argument to be made. No. This was a legal immigrant killed by an illegal immigrant who should not have been in this country. Niger, very quickly, uh, 2019, will this be the year that we see the end of the Mueller investigation? What do you think? No, uh, it is not going. I, I think, unfortunately, uh, Mueller, who has a rich uh, history, having served in our armed forces honorably, uh, has been swept up into the political uh, witch hunt that uh, his investigation is. And I think that the game plan is to keep this going uh, to impact the 2020 election. Agree. The election of uh, President I Trump. I agree. I see no end to this. And I think the American people are tired of it. And by the way, not that interested. Outside of the Beltway, outside of the media, um, if you're in real America, I never hear, where I live, I never hear anyone talk about Russia. There are more important things to talk about and think about. Uh, great to see you both. Niger, great to see you. Rachel, great to see you. Happy New Year to both of you. Happy Appreciate New Year. You Happy in. New Year to you two both. Thank you very much.